Hello and welcome. Firstly, congratulations on your purchase of the brand new MG3 Excite. In this video, I'll take you through some of the main features of the exterior and interior of the car, so you can use it as a future reference if you ever forget um, forget something or you're wondering how, how, how that works. Um, to start, we have the front with the uh, LED lights and the nice 16-inch alloy wheels finished in that silver and black, which gives it a nice sporty look. This is a four-door uh, little hatchback, perfect for day-to-day um, -day driving, A to B journeys, etc. And then moving on to the back, in order to open the boot, you simply find the MG logo and right below it, put your fingers there and there is a little button, press upwards and then push, uh, push the boot up. And here we go. You can also lower the seats uh, to nearly double the space of the boot. To do this, you need to go both to the right and the left hand side um, passenger door, um, rear passenger door, excuse me. And you will see at behind the seat, there is this little lever here. Simply press it upwards and let the seat fall. And you do exactly the same on the, on the left hand side. Let me just show you quickly. Brilliant, you open the door. And right here below, there is a little lever. Press it upwards and then let the, um, let the seat slide. And here we go. You have nearly doubled your space. And also, um, this, uh, this apparatus here can be fully removed if you have to ever um, carry larger items or luggage with you. We just put everything back quickly. Brilliant. In order to open the bonnet of this car, you need to go onto the passenger seat, the front passenger seat, um, open the door, and right here at the bottom, there is this lever here, press it upwards, and the bonnet is now ready to be, to be opened. To open the bonnet, pre, pre, put your finger below the middle of the bonnet, I'm right in the middle, you can find the MG logo straight on, and there is a little lever, push it to the right hand side and the bonnet opens. To close it, simply keep it like that and let it go and it just close. Um, let's go inside the car. First thing to notice is on the driver's door, we have our electric windows. These two on top are for the front windows. These two uh, on bottom are for the, um, for the rear. And also we have our central locking function. So if you click this button here, it automatically locks all the doors. And then when you reach your destination, you can either open the door on your own or just press this and all the doors um, open automatically. Moving on to the seat, in order to adjust the seat, um, you have this lever here. So if you want the seat to go higher, just simply push it upwards. And if you want the seat to go lower, vice versa, push it downwards. Now, for this section of, uh, of the seat, to make it uh, move lower, press this upwards and use your body, uh, body weight essentially to push the seat uh, backwards. And the same applies if you wanna move it forward. Just don't use your body, just let push this upwards and the seat will come on its own. Uh, in order to fully move the seat, there is a lever down here press it upwards and then use your body to uh, adjust the seat to your perfect um, driving position. Now let's sit inside the car quickly. There we go. And this is the view you're gonna have on your brand new car. On the right hand side, in order to adjust your mirrors, we have these little buttons here. So for the right hand side mirror, press this button to the right and then you can adjust um, your windows by moving it upwards to the left, downwards and to the right. And when you're done with your right hand side mirror, push it to the left and perform exactly the same activity. Left, down, right and upwards. When you're done, simply put it in zero. If you would like your, when you reach your destination, your mirrors to be folded, simply have it in zero and then push this button downwards and your mirrors will be folding automatically when you do that. Now onto your steering wheel. <clears throat> um, you've got your horn, just press in the middle and then we have our voice commands on the right hand side 
and then the Asterix button. The Asterix allows you, if you are connected with your Apple phone with the car, to uh, move between the main MG screen or the Apple CarPlay, uh, which makes it quite easy to do so. On the left hand side, <clears throat> we have our radio um, commands and also Bluetooth. So down here, you can press this to answer or make calls. SRC allows you to move in between DAB radio, FM and AM, and then you can increase volume with the top uh, button, decrease it, move to the next track and move to the previous track and also mute everything. Now, behind the steering wheel, on the right hand side, we have our rain uh, swipers, wipers, excuse me. So, um, for light rain, just press it upwards once. Uh, the more intense the rain, press it higher and higher for the wipers to be more intense. Uh, on the left hand side, we have um, we have this lever here. So, if you if you want to signal that you're going to turn to the right press this upwards if you're going to signal want to signal that you're moving to the left press this downwards uh, as simple as that in order to adjust the overall steering wheel behind the steering wheel you'll find this lever push it down and then uh, take it up or down the steering wheel will, will not come um, towards you or uh, away from you it's only up or down so and to lock it simply press this upwards and now it's locked uh, last thing to show you in this area is how you can open the the, the petrol can uh, it's right here on the left bottom it is a little button just press this uh, towards you and it's all good here also you have some extra space uh, for for your phone or anything you want to carry with you let me just quickly start the car There we go, just push. There we go. So inside, in the middle, we have a traditional handbrake, uh, pretty self-explanatory, and then we have a, a manual gearbox. Um, to, to put it in first gear, press the clutch, and then to the left and upwards, second gear, uh, left and downwards, third middle upwards, fourth middle uh, downwards, and then fifth to the right and upwards. For reverse, there is no um, uh, moving your your gearbox, uh, your, your gear knob, I guess, upwards or downwards. Just press it to the right and down. Moving on down here, we can see we have our um, stability control, attraction control here. Ideally, you want to keep that always on just for safety. Then we have our hazard lights uh, and then we have our eco auto start stop essentially button which when the engine temperature is at the right temperature 90 degrees celsius um, when you're on traffic lights this the car will stop to Im improve uh, fuel efficiency uh, on its own depending on how you like to drive you can keep it on or off uh, it's your decision at the end of the day now moving forward we have a USB port uh, which you in order to access Apple CarPlay you will need to plug your uh, phone to the USB port and also a 12 volt socket down here. Moving upwards we have our air conditioning um, so to start it on you simply press in uh, the button the start button and you can select the temperature a cooler temperature by moving the knob or scrolling the knob to the left hand side higher temperature scrolling the knob to the uh, right hand side and to increase intensity again scrolling this right hand side knob to the right hand side and vice versa for decreasing intensity moving on to the to the main screen of the car uh, this is what you're going to be what you're going to see we have our radio which is a touch touch screen so you can touch there and you can select between FM AM and DAB and also there's a settings here option so you can play with the with the settings of the radio always wherever you are on the screen to move backwards so to go into the home page you need to click on this little button just click in and you go back to the um, back to your main screen to access Apple CarPlay as I've mentioned earlier the, your phone needs to be plugged in with a USB and it will automatically bring it up um, and also you can access your phone from here in order to pair your Bluetooth you need to select settings and then on the left hand side in the middle you will see here a Bluetooth button 
and you can select this section here and it starts automatically as you will see trying to identify or find any bluetooth devices in the surrounding area um, you can select your change your display the brightness um, you can select your time your radio and again you can find the radio settings here as we've mentioned earlier again just remember if you want to move backwards click the middle button and here we are to the back uh, excuse me in the home page um, anything else we have the glove box down here uh, plenty of cup holders both to the left hand side and the right hand side um, and th this is pretty much it now thank you for watching this video I hope you found this useful and informative if you have any questions about how to operate your car please do not hesitate to call us here at Lascoms as we will be more than happy to talk you through and identify the issue for you thank you ever so much and have a very good day